Well, hi guys, it's Alyssa, and I'm back with another reading. Um, this is kind of just an impromptu thing. I hadn't intended to, to record a reading for the channel today. Um, I had recorded one for this week already, but I'm not sure how I feel about it. I don't know if I'm going to end up uploading it or not. But um, today, I thought we would do kind of like a prediction reading. Um, where is your relationship or your connection to your person of interest going in the coming year? It is December. The year is winding down. Um, we're about to enter into a whole new decade, which is kind of exciting. So um, we've got three choices here. For group one, we have Aura Quartz. Group two is Selenite. And group three is, I don't remember what this is called, but it's like green, it's like a sea green kind of color. So, while you guys are making your choices, um, I just want to say that in the description I will have listed all of the readings that I'm going to be offering um, for 2020 and updated pricing. The prices for private readings are going to be changing a little bit um, and I am going to be having a couple new types of readings available as well. Um, so take a look at that if you're interested. I will probably be doing a sale before the end of the year, so if you want to get a personal reading from me before January 1st when uh, prices go up, this would be the month to do it. Um, so anyway, let's just jump into this, guys. Uh, group 1. Where's your relationship headed with your person of interest? So for you guys, I think I'm just gonna use the Santa Muerte Tarot. We have the High Priestess, the Hanged Man, we have Judgment, Ten of Pentacles, Two of Swords, and the Lovers. And I'm going to get just one or two Oracle cards, and then we'll talk about these. We got the soulmate card here. So, um, group one. Overall, it's looking like your connection to your person that you're thinking about um, is going to be headed into a fairly positive direction in the new year. Um, the first card that we have here is the High Priestess. This is a very spiritual card. It talks about insight, um, wisdom. It can also talk about the unknown, things that are hidden, um, magic, the, the esoteric, the magical, that kind of thing. So I do get some pretty strong like soul level connection vibes from this because um, we do have the High Priestess, we do have Judgment, we do have the Lovers, and we have the Soulmate card. Um, these are all cards that can be indicative of that kind of relationship. So whoever you're thinking about looks like they are, you know, some type of soulmate. Um, I do get the impression that you guys right now are probably not really in touch with each other or you have little contact, infrequent contact. Um, I get that from the High Priestess because, you know, she is a little bit
bit like the hermit. She's kind of withdrawn. She kind of just keeps to herself. Um, and the hanged man here is associated with stagnation, delays. Um, however, this card is also about changing perspectives. So I think that, you know, up until this point, um, your connection to this person has really pretty much come to a standstill. Uh, and it seems to me like... Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me at all if you haven't talked to this person in quite some time. Uh, for some of you, I feel like it's been months, if not years, since you had contact with it, this individual. Um, and for some of you, <laughs> you might be um, thinking about this person for like no apparent reason. Um, they might just be kind of springing back up in your in your thoughts um and and you might just be curious like why or maybe you've been having dreams about them i don't know um but i just get this sense like for some of you you haven't you know been involved with this person in a long time they haven't been part of your life in some time um but lately maybe they've just been on your mind for for no reason and you're curious about why well um, it looks to me like your connection to this person might be renewed during the coming year because we have judgment here, which talks about renewal, restoration, it talks about rebirth, awakenings. So there is this energy of like something kind of new. There is um, a really strong feeling of change and transformation with this card. Uh, I see... I see that someone here is making some new insights about themselves, about maybe this connection. Um, I get the sense that for many of you, the person that this is about was kind of oblivious to what was going on in the past. But since you've been apart, since you've been separated, they've been doing a lot of thinking on it and they've... They're, they're kind of like on the verge of an awakening at this point in time. Um, you know, the High Priestess, like I said, she is also a uh, representative of, you know, achieving, you know, insights, achieving clarity, gaining wisdom, spiritual wisdom especially. So I get the sense that this person is on the verge of, of, of making some, like, breakthroughs getting some insight, getting some, like I said, having having an awakening, like a spiritual awakening. And I feel as though when that happens, there is going to be like a reunion. The Ten of Pentacles talks about stability. It talks about um, security. I get really strong family vibes from this card. Uh, it's associated with, you know, domesticity, happy home life, children. Um, being a 10, it also relates to completion and achievement. So there is kind of this energy of like wish fulfillment or like getting something that, um, or I guess I should say something something finally manifesting that has been in the works for a long time. So maybe in the past you were really trying your hardest to manifest this person or to manifest a particular outcome with this person and it didn't work out seemingly. But they're saying whatever outcome you were hoping for it's it's not that it it didn't work out it's just that it's still in progress you you haven't been told no by the universe you've just been asked to wait which is interesting um i get the sense that for a long time uh 
like I said with the hanged man, your connection to this person has really been at a standstill. Nobody has been doing anything. There's been no communication, no interaction really. Um, the Two of Swords is really about like, uh, I want to say stagnation, also indecision. It's like somebody has a choice to make, but they don't know they don't know what the right choice is or they don't want to have to make the choice and so they just do nothing. Um, so it's a very inactive energy, very similar to the hanged man. Um, but in this context, I'm saying this as like someone finally like breaking out of that stagnant, indecisive energy, um, kind of cutting, I want to say, see this, this, scissors uh, imagery is really standing out to me because I see this as like someone breaking the cycle, breaking the pattern, cutting themselves out of it. So, you know, this kind of goes back to your person having like an awakening or, you know, making progress along that path to achieving new spiritual insights and like making the decision to make a move towards you or initiate something with you the lover's card here is the final card that came out um, so I'm kind of seeing this as like a potential outcome this is, to me, this is showing me a reunion. Um, the lovers, obviously, it is typically associated with romantic connections, but it doesn't have to be. Um, this can be really any kind of partnership, any kind of functional, healthy relationship between two people. Um, not explicitly romantic. It also relates to choice as well. So again, we have this energy of like someone making a decision. And I feel like in the new year, you and this person are going to kind of reunite. I feel... I, I see there being communication. I see there being contact. It's hard to say if this is necessarily going to evolve into something romantic. I mean, for a number of you, it will. This is the lover's card. Um, for others of you, it may not initially. But I do see there, I, I do see people coming together. And I see like harmony and A sense of unity. So this person, whoever it is that you're thinking of, um, particularly if you haven't been in touch with them for some time, I feel like they're going to make a comeback. And I feel like it's going to be kind of unexpected because I get the sense that this person has just been out of your life for so long or they've been such a minor part of your life for so long that you're not really expecting anything from them anymore. You know what I'm saying? Or you're not really expecting anything from the connection anymore. Um, so, you know, uh, <laughs> it, it looks like they're probably going to be coming back in 2020. Um, and for some of you, you might be very happy about it. For others of you, you... Um, probably have completely moved on and now you're like, okay, well, where do you fit into my life now? Um, and that's just something that you're going to kind of have to figure out, I guess. So group one, that's what I have for you guys. I hope that this resonated with you. I hope this was interesting and helpful. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope I see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, so group two, which was the selenite bar, um, let's find out what's going to be happening with you and your person um, in the new year. I think for you guys, I want to use the golden tarot. Where 
is group two's relationship with their person going to go in the new year? We have the Seven of Cups. We have the Chariot. Whoa. We've got Knight of Coins, Page of Wands. Ooh. Ten of Wands and the Four of Swords. And let me grab one or two Oracle cards and then we'll get started with this. We have Retreat. Okay. So, you guys. This is kind of interesting because I'm actually seeing a little bit of like a... I want to say a backslide in this situation. Um, we're we're starting off with the Seven of Cups, which is a card that relates to having a lot of choices and sometimes being kind of confused about what choice you should make in a situation. Um, it also talks about potential, like all of the possibilities um, that lie before you, you know, all of these cups here have something different in them. And it's kind of like, um, these are all, these are all the possibilities that exist for you and the person that you're thinking of. Um, at this point in time, I kind of feel like your connection with this individual is kind of uncertain. Okay. I feel like things are looking a little bit, I don't want to say bleak, but, you know, I feel like you're not really sure um, what to expect, what's going to happen. You know, it it's like this person maybe isn't giving you um, a lot to go off of, or they're kind of giving you mixed signals. Um, Basically, I'm just I'm just feeling that you're you're unsure of what the future uh, holds for you. You don't really seem to have a clear idea of like where things are going um, because it seems to me like it maybe changes from from day to day. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, we also have here the chariot. So the chariot does talk about forward movement. It talks about overcoming obstacles, facing adversity head on. Um, in order to achieve something, achieve some kind of goal that you have. So this does show me that your relationship to this person, uh, as we move into the new year, is more than likely going to start to progress a bit more consistently, a bit more predictably, I want to say. Um, it seems like things are going to start moving forward. Um, with the Knight of Coins here, I do see there being some level of commitment being offered up. Um, coins are earth energy. It's very solid. It's very stable. It's very consistent. Um, and knights, you know, they typically represent messages or offers being made. So this is showing me that you and your person um, are going to be moving forward towards some degree of commitment. Uh, if you already have some level of commitment with this person, then this is suggesting a higher level of commitment um, or just, you know, more feelings of security within this relationship. But then the next card we have is the Page of Wands, which in the court cards, you know, pages come before knights. Um, the knight is a more developed, experienced, matured energy, um, and the page is less so. So it's interesting that we're going from a knight to a page. Um, and that's kind of what makes me feel like this connection, you know, while, while you might see some forward progress, there might also be 
some backpedaling. Um, I kind of feel like, you know, it's like the saying, uh, two steps forward and one step back. Um, pages typically represent immaturity and experience something fresh, something new that's like just starting out. So it's kind of odd to be going from night energy back to page energy. Um, so this makes me think that this commitment or this level of stability that you're going to achieve with this person might not last real long, okay? Because, like I said, coins is earth energy which is stable and secure. Wands are fire energy, which is much more changeable, much more unpredictable and unstable, right? So I see this relationship like going backwards. In the Ten of Wands here, this card talks about um, carrying around some kind of burden, having something that's really weighing on you. Uh, I feel like you and the person you're thinking of do have a lot of... I feel that you do care about each other. A lot. I feel that there is love here, but I also get the sense that this particular connection, I just, I feel like it may not be the right time for this to happen. Like, there's things that both of you need to kind of sort out for yourselves. Like, there's things both of you need to work on as individuals or, you know, take care of before you can really invest the amount of time and energy into this relationship that it would be necessary to make it work, to make it successful. I just see this relationship becoming kind of burdensome for both of you and becoming like too much, kind of overwhelming. Um, too much, I don't want to say too much work, but like, yeah, kind of too much work. Um, I see it eating up a lot of time, a lot of your time and a lot of your energy and not leaving very much space for other things in your life that are also important to you. Um, so, you know, with this being a 10, it does relate to endings, completion. Um, so this card can talk about, like, laying down a burden, letting go of something that you're holding on to and carrying around with you. Um, so I, I do get the sense that, you know, with this energy here and also with the retreat card and the four of swords, I feel like by the end of 2020, your connection with this person is either going to be put on hold, it's going to be over or it, it's gonna be kind of like back to square one um the four of swords talks about reflection it's really like pulling away from others um in order to go within and do some inner work do some contemplation on something this is like a period of rest okay so i said for some of you um this relationship may be put on hold i think that's um I feel like for a lot of you, that's probably what's going to be going on by the end of the year. I just see there being, I see there being a separation. And, you know, retreat is kind of self-explanatory. Uh, in some cases, you know, this talks about retreating together. Um, however, in this context, I see it as the two of you disconnecting a bit from each other. Um, and, you know, I say that because we've got the Four of Swords here and the Ten of Wands, and we have this energy of, like, something not able to mature, not able to develop past a certain point, and, and just kind of backsliding, losing progress that's been made. So, 
group two, unfortunately, um, it doesn't look like 2020 is going to be a great year for this particular relationship. Um, it doesn't mean that this is never going to work out. It doesn't mean it's, you know, this isn't um, something that you should be concerned about or like holding on to. Um, like I mentioned, though, I just get this sense that this may be something that you're trying to trying to make happen when the time just isn't right for it to happen. Um, because I do get this impression, like, with this page of wands here, like, there is growth, there is change that needs to be made before this relationship is going to have the chance to really be successful. Does that make sense? Um, so, group two, that's pretty much all I'm getting for you guys today. I hope this is uh, interesting. I hope this resonated with you. Um, thank you for joining me today, guys. And I hope I see you next time. Bye! Alright, group three, let's see, what deck am I going to use for you guys? I think we're going to go with the Kawaii Tarot. So, group three, what does, um, hang on, let me fix this lighting. Okay. What does the new year have in store for your relationship or your connection with your person of interest? Interesting. So that's reversed. Okay, turn that upright. Oh my. Okay, guys, very interesting. Um, this is not quite as straightforward as the other two readings um, for today. What I get here is like very um, different, like almost opposite energies, uh, which implies to me right away that your relationship in the new year might be very tumultuous. Okay, um, we've got the Ten of Swords here starting out. Um, I do feel that this is really more like the present energy, the current energy of this situation. Um, it seems to me like there has been some disappointment or some uh, just, you know, difficult feelings coming up between you and your person. Uh, there may have been some type of ending that happened recently between you. Um, you know, the Ten of Swords just talks about emotional turmoil, a painful, difficult ending, something... Something coming to a halt, or, you know, just feelings of defeat. So, I get the sense that either you've recently separated from this person for, for some reason, or you are, the two of you are in some kind of situation where you're just feeling kind of disappointed, not really happy with the way that things have been going lately, okay? Um, the Knight of Cups here is a much more positive energy. This card does relate to 
offers and expressions of love. Um, cups in general talk about love relationships, emotions in general, um, and knights are associated with messages and offers. So, you know, you put those two things together and you have a card that talks about emotions being communicated, emotions being expressed, um, love being offered, right? So whether you're in separation or things have just not been going great, um, I am seeing that in the relatively near future, there is going to be some kind of offer that is made that is going to, I think, um, bring some improvement within this relationship, okay? Um, following that, we have this Six of Pentacles energy. This card is really about stability. It's about balance. It's about an equal give and take. Um, this is a card that shows me that in light of this new, I want to say kind of fresh uh, start, for some of you, this fresh start is going to be more literal than others. Um, but I think in light of that, your relationship is going to kind of be renewed to some extent. Um, I'm seeing... I'm seeing both you and your person being able to put forth equal amounts of time and effort into this connection, whereas, you know, maybe right now or in the recent past, that hasn't been the case. Maybe one person has been uh, doing a lot more in the relationship than the other person for whatever reason. Um, but, you know, this this is that changing. This is everybody involved putting forth an equal amount of work, contributing equally to it, being generous with one another and compassionate to one another. Um, and again, like I said, finding balance. So I see your connection to this person really balancing out. Um, this card also can talk about communication. So if you have been having issues with communication um, with your person, either you haven't had any or it's just been kind of not great, um, this again is showing me improvement there. We also have here the Tower card. So the Tower is a card that really talks about change. It talks about major, unexpected, kind of typically like kind of life-changing events. Um, this is, this is interesting because I actually don't know if, I, I feel like for some of you, this card is actually representing something that's going to happen outside of your relationship or Okay, this is not going to apply to everybody, but for some of you, I'm seeing a pregnancy, an unexpected or, like, unplanned pregnancy, or someone, like, thinking they are, like, a pregnancy scare, um, again, with the Queen of Pentacles here, because this card really relates to, like, motherhood and family and children, um, but if that's impossible or if if that is um, very unlikely, then this also may just be, like I said, I feel for some of you this tower card is representing something happening technically outside of your relationship that may just impact your relationship in some way. And it could be related to a family member. Um, for example, there might be there might be some kind of loss or there may be some issue relating to a close family member or a cl very close friend that um, is going to be very unexpected and really, I, I want to say life-changing. And your relationship with this person is going to be something that's going to, I mean, your relationship is going to be impacted. 
I don't think in a super negative way. I think, though, that your person is going to have to really be there for you. Or vice versa. It could be something happening uh, in their personal life that you're going to have to be there for them, you know, to help them through it. Yeah. I'm just seeing, like, and it's, it's hard to pin down this energy because this is general, so it's going to be something different for all of you. But, like, I, I just see something really major happening probably, I want to say during the summertime, maybe June, July, um, maybe August, but I'm, I'm more inclined to say, like, June or July. I feel like for the majority of you, that's going to be kind of uh, when this event is going to, or where this event is going to fall. Um, and I think it's going to be something that's going to be, hard to adjust to and your partner or your person is going to have to um, is going to be there to help you or vice versa like I said um, but I do get the sense that ultimately it's going to make this connection stronger I feel like this relationship is going to be at the end of the day more grounded and more stable because you were able to get past this 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 hard time this this major change together and you know the queen of pentacles does talk about groundedness and stability so this is like the two of you achieving a, a, a greater level of stability in your relationship. The Magician card is kind of like the potential outcome. Uh, this card talks about manifestation. It's about creating something, uh, creating something new, manifesting your desires. Um, it, it does have this new, fresh kind of energy to it. I see this as you and your person, by the end of the year, having made a lot of progress, I think, in building the, I want to say building the life that you want to live together. Does that make sense? Um, I, I see the two of you having made plans, at least made plans for the future, um, if not taking steps already towards, you know, uh, creating those plans or, you know, creating what you're wanting in your reality. Do you follow me? So, yeah, um, I think that, okay, so this is not quite as intense as it seemed like when I first pulled these cards out. Um, I do still feel that there is going to be some ups and downs um, in the coming year, but I don't feel like it's going to be, you know, I, I don't see you and your person having a lot of arguments or, you know, separating and then coming back together or things like that. I think a lot of the problems are going to be because of external factors that are going to you know, impact the relationship, things that the two of you are going to have to, like, come together to to deal with, to move past together. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, but I think your relationship is definitely going to be stronger for it by the end of the year, and I feel like you guys are going to have a lot of plans in place for the future um, and possibly have put some of those plans into action already. Um, the Oracle card is, it is safe for you to love, and it says, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So, um, this card is interesting because it, I get the sense that some of you are kind of doubting this connection right now. I get the sense that some of you are wondering, like, is this something that I should still, that, that I should continue to invest in? Is it worth it? Is it gonna, is it gonna pan out um, in a positive way? This is telling me that for the vast, vast majority of you, this is something I think that is worth working on 
it's something I think worth holding on to, okay? That's what this card is telling me because I see a lot of progress being made in the coming year. And I think if you hold on to it, if you hold on to this relationship, you'll be glad that you did, okay? So, um, group three, those are really all the messages that I'm getting for you guys today. I hope that this resonated with you. I hope it was interesting. Um, thank you so much for joining me, guys. I hope I see you next time. Bye.